Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Sessions with Kat. Um, it's been a minute. I apologize. I was sick there for a little bit, and then I've been kind of inundated with work, um, taking on clients, so on and so forth. And I kind of also need to make sure that I'm taking care of me. So I kind of took a little break there. Um, so yeah, welcome back. Um, <laughs> some updates. Um, my healing blankets are on sale right now. They're 55. That includes shipping. So if you're interested, you can shoot me an email and my contact information is in there. Um, I'm also still not on Instagram. So if you're looking for me over there, I am so sorry. Um, I'm not there. <laughs> um, I, I am still alive. I'm still kicking, still in business, still doing the damn thing. It's just um, Instagram won't let me be great, okay? And that's fine. It's fine. I needed the break. I'll say it that way. I needed the break. When Spirit tells me to go ahead and create that new Instagram, I will let all of you know, at least those who want to know. Um, <laughs> I will let you know. Um, I've also been working on my ebook, just kind of finishing up some kinks there, been navigating the Fool's Journey group. Um, which is a lot of fun, a lot of growth, a lot of healing. It's wonderful. I'm, I absolutely love it. And yeah, just just that. That's it. That's all the updates. So we're back. Another deck walkthrough, another chit chat. We're going to get into it because I don't really want to waste any time. I kind of want to see these cards. Um, <laughs> so um, if you remember the first one I went through, which was Seasons of the Witch, the uh, Mabon, uh, Mabon, or Orco, um, the orange one, okay? I fucking love that deck, and I pray that I love this one, okay? I personally don't know that I will be purchasing the Salwin one. I just can't connect with it. It's not the color scheme. I, I just don't know why I can't connect with that one. It's sitting in my Amazon cart, but I just, I don't know. I can't pull the trigger. Something about it is just like, eh, don't need it. Not called to it. But all, all the other ones, I'm like running for the hills. Like, yes, I need it, right? Um, I don't know why, but that one is just not calling my name, okay? Um, I do have some other decks that I need to walk through with you guys. So I'm kind of like do every other one so until we get through these ones. Um, FYI, I got two more on pre-order, but don't judge me, judge your mama. Um, <laughs> but I put the link for this one in the description box in case any of you are called to it. Okay. I just want to make sure that, you know, I'm sharing the joy. I am not affiliated whatsoever with Amazon or anything like that. So this is purely my own personal walkthrough of this deck. You guys know how it go. Um, if you've been here since the beginning, then you, you know, right? You true to this. So let's do it. Okay. If you saw the, today, the thumbnail words, what are words, Catrice? Um, if you saw the thumbnail, then you know what today's topic is, is practicing authenticity. But first I want to kind of like give you guys an understanding of why I'm discussing this. And I feel like I'm discussing it again. So um, if I am, I don't care. It needs to be brought up again. Um, and the reason I say that is because like these times are trying, okay? They are trying. And um, it's hard to stay ourselves when we have to, you know, in essence, kind of, try to fall in line with societal rules and you know not saying we should all rebel you know rebel or anything like that I'm not really saying that um simply looking at it at you know from the perspective of how can we genuinely be who we are in the midst of the chaos around us and sometimes that's difficult because you know we have to live we have to eat we have to do all this stuff and but we want to be you know, who we are um, as well and, and not feel like we have to shrink ourselves or be small, right? 
which is hard. It's just fucking hard, right? Insecurity comes up with that, imposter syndrome, all kinds of bullshit. Um, and it's tough, right, to be truly, you know, ourselves in the midst of, you know, our peers, you know, not, not necessarily the peers that you feel most comfortable with, but like, you know, your work environment or something like that. It's difficult. It's very, very difficult to kind of tap into our fullness in the midst of others. So I want to talk about that. I want to talk about practicing authenticity and trusting yourself as you navigate life, right? But let's talk about the components of practicing authenticity. And I'm not, I'm not like trying to get super technical. No. Um, it's more the fear, insecurity, right? Imposter syndrome, all those little things that come up when we're trying to be our most authentic self, if that makes sense. All those little things that come up. So I want to kind of, you know, talk about it and get your guys, you know, thoughts on it. So don't be afraid to comment. Um, you can even comment and just let me know how you're doing because I, I want to know that too. Um, and, you know, all that jazz, right? Forgive me, I need to light the smoke, the sage, so that I can run this deck through it real quick. Um, I'm doing what spirit asked of me, so give me a second. I'm gonna, you know, I'm talking, but <laughs> I'm gonna run it through the smoke. Um, but yeah, so I wanna to I wanna talk about that. I, I really wanna talk about this. Um especially for me, for me especially. Because I'm in a Bible state. And yes, I'm a reverend, but I'm not super biblical, if that makes sense. Um, so I'm navigating my own personal journey in a state where Christianity is big. Right. It is it's a big deal. And it's easy for me. I shouldn't say it's easy for me. It's easy for this energy to kind of come at me in a way that it wants me to feel insecure about who I am and change or something like that. We all know I'm not. Okay. But it's so easy to mask who we are when we feel outnumbered, if that makes sense. It's easy to um, kind of bypass authenticity because we want to not have all eyes on us or feel alienated or anything like that. Me personally, I don't care. I've felt alienated most of my life, so I've kind of gotten used to it. But... I know for some people, they still kind of hide, right? And and for some reason, you know, let me let me rephrase that. Some people, I'm not talking about the people who hide because of safety reasons. I'm talking about people who hide because they want to fit in. That kind of thing, okay? If you're hiding for safety reasons, don't take this to heart. Don't feel like I'm like nitpicking at you. I'm not. Um, Ooh, there's cardinals in here. I'm here for it. Um, <laughs> y'all, y'all know how my brain works. Um, but this is for those who feel like they have to hide themselves just to fit in to make friends, and that is really why I'm bringing up this topic because one of the things that I've noticed for myself being here and meeting people and uh, making friends, right? is it's 
hard for me to make authentic friends. And by that, I mean it's hard for me to make friends in a space where what I do is not fully accepted, if that makes sense. And so I end up, you know, I'll have like a friend here or like a friend there, but not a whole bunch. And and truthfully, you know, quality over quantity. But even that small quantity of people, it's kind of hard for me to navigate within them because I operate so differently, if that makes sense. And it's not to say like, you know, they're bad, I'm good or anything like that. I'm not saying that. It's just, we're different. We're different. We can come together on like one select thing, but we are very different in how we go about our day-to-day life, if that makes sense. And I think for me, that's where practicing authenticity really gets real, right? It's remaining who I am, regardless of who I'm around, what's going on, will I fit in, whatever, right? Because imposter syndrome is not really, it doesn't really force its way in too deep because I usually can combat it. So I'm not worried about that. But when make, trying to make friends or trying to kind of like branch out and meet new people, like that kind of thing, it makes it really hard, right? Because you're like, oh my God, are they going to judge me? We all have like some of these inherent fears, right? But for me, it's like, okay, I'm going to be who I am regardless if they accept me or not, right? But that underlying fear is still there of, am I just going to be this loner for the rest of my life? if that makes sense. And I'm not a loner so much, like, you know, but I am one of those friends, like, I have, like, a good five people that I consider myself extremely close to. Everybody else, like, yeah, oh, you know, we're acquaintances, acquaintances, or, you know, I can't say that they're true, true friends. Um, Mainly because a lot of them I haven't like fully hung around, but I could like I can count on both hands who's close enough to me that I can I can be me completely around without having to hide anything because they don't want to be seen with that part of me or whatever, right? But my main thing is how do we practice that authenticity when we're in an environment that kind of makes it weird to be ourselves, right? Really? A fallen in love card? Interesting. Um, <laughs> I know y'all probably like, what? I'm like, see, when I think, okay, a little off topic. When I think of Yule time, like, you know, winter, um, that particular season, I don't think of falling in love, maybe falling in love with the self, you know, self-love. But for me, that's a time of, you know, coming home to myself. And maybe this is just the masculine and feminine side of everything. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I like the card. It's just a matter of, I guess, when I, like, if I pull it in a reading, you know, how is it tied to everything else? If that makes sense. I hope that made sense to y'all because it made sense in my brain. So whatever. If if it don't make sense to y'all, it ain't for y'all. Okay. Um, <laughs> but like, let's get back to that. Practice and authenticity. So how can you be who you are without feeling weird? Without feeling um, alienated or feeling lost or confused or 
um, feeling left out, right? Just because you're different. Just, just because you're different doesn't mean you don't deserve to be, you know, to, to have fun, friends or to um, be like, you know, separated from the group. It just means that you haven't necessarily found the right tribe, right? But how do you still remain who you are in the midst of that type of criticism? And I want you guys to answer that in the comments. Right. How do you remain authentic? That's interesting. Father Christmas is number 13. Hmm. I wasn't expecting that. But. Right. So for me, I'm going to be me regardless. Right. Um, I. I don't have a problem being me. I don't care if anybody has a problem with me being me. It is what it is. If you don't like it, you can go elsewhere. Okay. You can voice your opinion all you want to. I've heard you, but your opinion has nothing to do with me. It's more along like what fits into your comfort zone. And we all know comfort zones suck. So, um, <laughs> you know, I don't play into that. But I have a lot of clients as of late who have a hard time really being themselves. One, because they're afraid to, or they're afraid to face that part of themselves because somewhere along the line, somebody told them that it was bad, right? Somewhere along the line, someone told them, oh, you should probably hide that part so that you fit in, right? Or something or of another, right? And a lot of the clients that I'm working with, especially the healing clients, um, they can't be themselves because they're covered in some type of really fucked up energy that's either tied to family or the friends that they're around or even their job, right? And you just have to wonder, like, okay, how can we help them to be more of who they are in the midst of this bullshit? I'm going to call it what it is, in the midst of that bullshit, right? How do you practice authenticity in that manner? And I would like to, I'm going to give you some suggestions, right? Number one, I would say slowly implement it, right? Especially if you're um, nervous about, you know, what your job or what this new set of friends may think of you or um, whatnot, I would say slowly ease your way into it because that gives you a chance to kind of test the waters to see how comfortable people are still around you. Most people should accept you for who you are. If they don't, those are not your people. Okay. That's my personal opinion. So that's number one. Move it, move into it slowly. Number two, if you're not able to do it outside of the home, then make sure you're able to do it in your home, right? And this is for those of you who have the ability to do this. If you can't do it because you don't feel safe, that's one thing, okay? That's when I would tell you go to a park or go elsewhere or find a group or something like that and kind of be yourself there. But in this particular case, what I mean is you have to have a safe space to come to, right, where you can take it all off. You can take the masks off. You can be who you are. And. Sometimes we can't do that outside of the house. We have to do that at home. So just make sure you have that ability. But then moving forward, go back to that first one. Start slowly implementing it into different areas of your life. Now, you can change the wording, right, to kind of fit the mode of the group you're within so that they, you know, don't look at you weird. 
if that makes sense, like that's the only way I can describe that. You can change the wording, right? Because sometimes, you know, like when somebody say, oh, what do you do? I, you know, some people I could tell if I tell them I'm a psychic medium, they'll lose their shit. Don't ask me why, but they do. They're just like, oh, that's that's against the Bible. Yeah, I don't care. It's not against the Bible, but whatever. So I'll tell them like, oh, I do spiritual counseling. I will leave it at that. Right. So it's OK to change the wording to fit the group that you're around. But you're still being yourself. You're just making it comfortable for those you're talking to to be comfortable around you being yourself. Right. That's a pretty card. I like these cards. Um, <laughs> sorry. Um, the other thing too is find a group, right? Find a little meetup. Make sure it's safe, but um, find a meetup so that you can have that, you know, that way to be yourself and you don't feel like you're kind of bubbling yourself or making yourself small. Um, me personally, live out loud. Okay? Be who the hell you are, right? But for some of us, it's hard when we're at work and everybody's like, you know, oh, you should come hang out with us and it's really not your thing, right? But you also know that they would never come hang out with you because what you do is not their thing. Maybe find something, a common ground, right? They don't have to understand why you like it. You just do. I love that there's animal medicine in this. Sorry, I didn't mean to shake the card. Uh, I love that there's animal medicine in it. I'm here for it. I am here for it. Um, but you can do that, right? You guys can kind of find common ground. Um, like for me, like I like being out in nature as much as I don't like bugs, but um, I do like being out in nature. So, you know, I'm, I'm like, oh, hey, you guys want to go out for a walk or something like that? They don't want to go. They ain't got to go, but you can go. Right? They don't need to know that you're going for a walk so that you can ground and center. Right? I'm also trying to be gentle with the cards because they are fresh out the pack and if you guys know that with the gilding on there, they can kind of stick. So I'm trying to be kind of gentle with all of this. Um, so there, those are some options, right? The other thing, too, is um, don't be afraid to express yourself however you need to. And by that, I mean, like, if you're in the art, journaling, writing, any type of, any type of art form, right? Um, don't be afraid to express yourself that way because a lot of times people end up understanding you better and you then can be yourself a little bit more easier, right? Um, because people will, they'll look at art, right? It's a lot of crone energy in this deck. And I like it. I do like it. Squirrel medicine. Oh, it's so cute. Don't judge me. <laughs> it's so cute. Um, so yeah, you have those options, right? Finding your North Star. That's what I hear when I look at this card. Finding your North Star. But I'm, I'm genuinely curious. How do you guys practice authenticity when you're in a space that is foreign or, you know, very new to you and you're not sure about the people you're around or anything like that? How do you practice being your entire self? in that space. Me personally, I just am. 
I, I, I don't like hiding who I am. I don't like having a representative because then I got to pay that bitch to be there 24 seven. And I don't want to do that. Right. That that's tiresome. I'd rather just be, I'd, I'd rather just be cat. I'd rather just be me. So how do you practice authenticity? 24 seven, right? How do you be yourself 24 seven? I am really here for these cards. Ooh, that's a good one. Let me know what your favorite card is in this deck. I'm curious, 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 curious. I like this one too. Also, if you would like to book a reading, you can also email me or shoot me a message. Um, if you have my my number or um, if you are friends with me on Facebook or anything like that, you can just shoot me a message. I was wondering if the wise men were going to be in this one. More like wise man. Since it's only like one face, but I was wondering. I was wondering. Ooh, that's a pretty wreath. I should make one like that. I also make wreaths too. If you guys were wondering, I make protection wreaths and I need to make one for the coming winter season. Kind of protect from sickness and whatnot. I like that. And the Yule log. Fun, fun, fun. All right. Spirit saying, go right here. Light. So there you have it, folks. Um, yeah, I just wanted to chit chat about that, just mainly because I, it's something I battled moving down here, and but also in the clients' tale that I've had recently, and I just wanted to chit chat about it. So please, in the comments, let me know your thoughts on practicing authenticity, and also let me know what your favorite card is in this deck, and um drop a heart emoji as well i don't care what color just drop one and with that stay hydrated make sure you're eating well make sure that the rest of your week is full of abundance healing and all the joy that you could possibly imagine and i wish you all the brightest of blessings bye